this full moon lunar eclipse is activating the divine feminine energy in a very massive way um, for everyone, but especially for a masculine energy that I'm picking up on. Okay, so this could be, it's a masculine collective um, where they are receiving massive upgrades at this time to their crown chakra and the heart chakra is activating more than it ever has. Um, Mars moving into Pisces, it can be quite uncomfortable in Pisces. So I feel this, the masculine energy here is really um, taking steps and actions to bring healing to um, wherever they've held control, wherever they've been in the ego. There is a lot of aggression with the Mars energy um, that is healing, okay, is what I want to say. The Piscean energy brings up like the emotion and the deepness. Um, I feel that there's a lot of frustration in this masculine's energy and in their life, but with these upgrades and the activation to the crown and the heart, um, and the divine feminine energy being pulled up to the surface even more than it already is, it's creating like a mixture of, um, of it's like a truth serum. Okay, so let's see what comes out. So I feel that this is a masculine who is being honest with themselves. They're getting very truthful and honest. Um, and again, there's a lot of like facing the shadow. There's a lot of stuff coming up to the surface from the subconscious that's being cleared. Okay, it's like the universe is going, okay, it's like big activation time. Um, and with the Merc with Mercury going into retrograde in the Mercury shadow, this person is facing a lot of their shadow energy. Exactly. Look at this, Eight of Cups and the Death card. Creating endings, walking away from what they know no longer serves them. It's like they're having clarity and enlightenment around what no longer serves them. They're seeing this doesn't serve me. This doesn't serve me. I'm not happy. I, I choose to walk away. I choose to walk towards the sun, my happiness, my joy, my bliss, healing. Okay. And then the death card speaks of radical change and transformation. Okay. It also creates its endings and beginnings. Death brings life. This is a time of endings. And so there can be a rebirth. Okay. So let's see what else comes out here. Yeah. Look, bottom of the deck, ace of swords. The angels are really helping, Archangel Michael. Um, these masculines that I'm picking up on, um, Archangel Michael is uh, a part of the Melchizedek order. And a lot of these masculines who are being activated, you can't make it up, what did I say? There was massive activations with this full moon lunar eclipse in Libra to the crown chakra, bringing forth much enlightenment and clarity around what needs to go or what they need to remove themselves from, walk away from. This is communication. This is a truth. It's a healing divine truth that comes from the higher self, from the soul. This is a card of communication. Okay, through their crown, they are communicating with their higher self, okay, and their spirit guides, whether they fully know it or not. Okay, see the, like, the... Like kind of geometry and things like that up here okay the melchizedek order masculines they have sacred geometry um embedded in their cosmic dna okay so it's like it's turning on it's like a light switch that's being turned on right now so it's them connecting to their their truth their divine truth their authenticity okay let's see Okay, so what else? Tell me more about this Ace of Swords, the Death card, and the Eight of Cups for this Divine Masculine. The Four of Swords, and then the Tower. Wow. Sudden change. Sudden radical change and transformation. That's bringing forth, again, massive enlightenment. Crows and ravens, blackbirds. That's going to be a sink. You may also find black feathers, white feathers as well, letting you know. This person could be sending you um, gifts such as that. This person is um, more than likely someone who's been very silent. They've been in a mode of healing. Okay. This is someone 444 on the timestamp. They could not give you their heart because their heart was not even, it was like outside of them. But their heart string is still attached to you. 
this indicates that this person is going through or has just gone through a three of swords they've been healing their heart okay there is sudden change a shake-up and that's what i mean it's like a lightning bolt to the crown an activation that completely brings change and metamorphosis at this time in their lives waking them up in a massive way there could be um destruction within the home like a home dynamic okay monarch butterflies are going to be a sink look at that the waterfalls this speaks of emotional release walking away releasing things emotions things that are not serving you anymore tears of joy or sorrow a release fulfillment chasing after something emotional release and overflowing abundance so i think a lot of these masculines are are realizing okay through their con their connection to source that their current situations choices whatever is going on is blocking their overflowing abundance it's like they're connecting the dots and they're going okay for things to start moving in my life again i need to do this i need to end something i need to do it right They're definitely releasing things. Okay, look at that. Bottom of the deck is, so we have 34 and 24. It's the Celtic knot. This is like the most eternal, divine, unbreakable bond of love. Unconditional love, divine union, eternal love, infinity, enduring, connected, love of a lifetime. The infinity symbol is also going to be a sign if you guys are seeing it to keep showing up for you. It's right here in this card too. And then we have the word infinity. This is an infinite bond. They are waking up to this infinite bond in massive ways. Their emotions are flowing. Okay, and I'm just getting like all in the name of love. All in the name of love. They've awakened to this. Like they've been awakening, but this is massive. I'm telling you, it's like a lightning bolt to the crown. I told you, massive crown upgrades and heart activations let's get one more yeah look the card that just flipped over it's the cardinal first we just started Aries season which is the cardinal fire sign that starts the zodiac calendar so it's speaking of timing and then it says yes take inspired action someone is saying yes i'm going to take inspired action but there's also yes to this message so it's about the start of a whole new season a leader beginnings igniting yeah Yep, exactly. So this is what I've got for you. I send love to everybody. Um, thank you for being here. And um, if you are watching this on YouTube, you can find the information in the description box below to dive deeper um, with a personal reading uh, about your situation, twin flame journey, whatever it is, um, among other options, okay? And if you're seeing this on Instagram, you can email me at gypsycowgirltarot dot com i'm sorry not dot com you can email me at gypsy cowgirl tarot at gmail.com and uh for an inquiry of a reading okay i love you guys so much have a beautiful day Mwah. namaste